Hey everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. Uh, right away, gotta gotta say some bad news. I lost the last video of us uh, actually d defeating the first campaign. It's uh, it's a little bit sad, and I'm sorry about it. But uh, hopefully, a good trade off is that I uh, I actually upgraded the bit rate, so hopefully the the video should come across a little bit cleaner this time. But you know, you guys deserve at least one fight of the warrior. We didn't get a legendary last time, so don't worry. You didn't miss anything special. We hardly picked up any of the loot. I think we maybe got, like, a green shield or something. But, yeah. Mostly it's just, uh, just slag, or not slag, corrosion damage. Between k Cloud Kill and our shotgun that got him. It's not easy, though. We're not able to, like, bore him to death or anything. You couldn't really bore him too well with a zero, but, you know, you can get a little bit of something going. I know that he's kind of immune to grenades. Especially fire grenades, but you know, it does something. It is helpful that we have a lot of corrosion damage. These enemies actually don't really take too much damage from cloud kill, so. They actually have to be shot. Yeah, it is a shame that phase lock can only like deal some damage. Especially, like, lackluster damage. I feel like phase lock is one of those abilities that would have been cool to be able to use from, like, spawn. Or not spawn, from, uh, fight for your life. I love fight for your life abilities. Because, you know, you always get downed at some point. It's, it's convenient to just be able to get right back up. I appreciate the shit out of that ever since I started playing Jack. in uh, the pre-sequel. We should really start aiming for crits. I'm really just being wasteful. Don't we have the Lady's Fist? Oh, right, I probably sold it. Yeah, I remember I, I like accidentally sold it in the last episode. Yeah, you missed some good stupidity. Don't worry, I'm sure there will be plenty more in this episode. Are we attacking the racks accidentally because of our, uh, chain reaction? I think that might be a thing. Alright, come on, pop up. Quit being coy. Pop up. Look at that. It even spawns in the center of where, uh, he's, he, like, is gonna be, not where he is. Give me a legendary. see what I see here little volcano that's a small little legendary I, I'm happy to take that we already have a pretty good shotgun I'll take a fire legendary instead of our uh, shredder fire because that's Whoa. that's old hat you yet? Don't you come back! Huh? Pandora's changed. All right, boys, let's run it back. True Vault Hunter mode. The real Borderlands starts here. Great, another dead Vault Hunter. We already start standing up. They know that we we got dignity. Minute. We're no pleb. We know what we're doing. Yes! Now I can get... I don't really feel like doing any particular Onward, DLC or Listen, anything like that. Let me that. know if I'm gonna run into anything. Ow. I'll just assume you didn't see that. Finally, we're free. That takes a while. That segment is pretty long. I'm pretty sure that in uh, Ultimate Volt Hunter mode, they just put you right outside. 
You know, there was there's a YouTuber who I'm not sure if he uploads anymore called Man of Low Moral Fiber, who's I, I loved watching his videos. He he uh, had a complaint that he wanted to just spawn right outside of Knuckle Dragger's area. And honestly, at first I didn't get it, but now I totally see it. It just makes way more sense. That wasn't so difficult. Wow, I can't, I can't aim grenades. I'll kill these bully monks just for just for fun. They're not really gonna give us any XP or anything, but they're just fun. And we can just blow them away with a grenade. Just being able to use your grenade makes it all the difference. We got a player skin? Man, you know, I realized something. That's why my inventory is always so full, because I'm just clogged. Oh, and you know what? I can just put uh, this boss in a fucking bubble. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can totally just pick them up because they're a bully mong. I love that they make you feel so powerful in the second playthrough. They're like, it's the first area, but like you've got all the tools. Maybe that's why I like it, because I associate it with easier times. Look at that, just a demolished. You know, I just realized something. We got a volcano. Yeah, why don't I equip the, the volcano? Works for me. He's ready to blow some dicks. No legendaries. Ripperoni. Oh, but you know what? We got the upgrade. Rune. I mean, we already had a pretty, pretty destructive rune, but or a pretty destructive phase lock, but that's all right. You can actually hear him like spawn in. Nope, you're staying right there, buddy. You're staying right there in the middle of the air. Oh man, I do love the slag. The slag is beautiful. Disintegrate, yes. Wrong move. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Cool it. Okay, so then why do you think you wouldn't be that much of a rescue? Get out of here, nobody- what? Did you punch the barrel? Barrel? Did you punch the barrel? All right, let's get out of here. Way ahead of you, bud. 
I literally got the thing, Claptrap. Shut up. I'm li I literally have finished the job. Come on, give me. He got a big underbite. That's all I'm saying. Hope you've had your shots. Okay. I feel like we we buy that. We want the we want fleet. I can't believe he doesn't even give us a quest until we we go in here. Roland left a message for you. Oh look at that! I walked over the step. You don't see that every day. Wow, we got a blue uh relic for that. This city held the whole planet in Handsome Jack's army. I left info about my whereabouts. What does this do? Malawan reload speed and Malawan fire rate. Interesting. Very interesting. Hello. Hello. I want it. Equi equip it. Give it to me. Yep. Enter. Very peculiar. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you like the content and you want to see more like it, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know how you're feeling about the series. I'm having a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys are having a lot of fun watching it. I'll see you in the next one.